Hello and welcome to the Unstoppable Indians. Every week we take a journey into the life of an outstanding Indian, a person whose talent, acumen or moral example is transforming India. The best, the finest from every field join me, Manvi Dhillon, on this show to share their life story, their journey to success, some of the knocks along the way, what made them get up and keep going, what makes them an unstoppable Indian. As the most promising player of 2008, Yes, my guest today is 18-year-old Saina Nehwal. Saina, thank you so much for joining me on The Unstoppable Indians. Uh, tell me, uh, what did it feel like? You know, 2008 has been a great year for you. Making it to the top 10, what did it feel like? Yeah, um, I think it's just a great year for me. Just um, unbelievable, I can say, because I never expected uh, so many results at a time. You know, it's, it's just, um, I think, a dream come true for me to play quarterfinals in Olympics, then uh, play semi-finals in Super Series events and then win the Junior Commonwealth, win the World Junior Championships and then to be selected for the World Super Series Finals and to be to crack into top 10. So I think um, everything is just happening and you know? I just can't understand why it's happening so early and how I've got everything so fast. You know? I think uh, it's uh, all because of my hard work and also uh, god i think god has really been kind to me a lot and uh, you know your father said that to me as well in our conversation before we started this interview he said you know god's been kind but you've worked very hard at this so it's well deserved i want to ask you uh, uh, the distinction of being the most promising player of 2008 coming from the world body again it was like a it was a kind of stamp of approval that um, you must be special to you. I was just expecting like you know uh, maximum to crack into top 10 but not getting selected to the Super Series finals or getting the most promising player award. So uh, I was just really you know just going with my work winning all the tournaments but I didn't know that December will be a very good month for me you know I, I got three uh, good uh, 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 I can say uh, uh, like most promising award and then playing World Junior uh, World Super Series Finals and then um, uh, uh, getting into top 10. So these three are like you know just a dream for me again. You know? I was just thinking that I might uh, crack into top 10 maybe in the next 3-4 years. Um, it's so really it's been a great, very, yeah. very special Very year. special for me. Tell and, me, uh, I want to look at this through your own eyes. What kind of player are you? I'm um, actually a very uh, strong player in the sense I'm um, uh, mentally very tough and um, I do, just don't give up very easily I uh, make my opponent work very hard to get a point one part of it is of course playing the game and the other part is which you said yourself you're a tough player in the sense that you know psychologically mentally you're tough tell me I mean, is, did it just happen did you just work at it is there a motto a formula by which you become a tough player because every sportsman wants to be a tough one um, I don't know, but um, from my childhood, I have that habit uh, to win whatever I'm participating in, in any event. It's not only badminton. I was actually a uh, very aggressive kind of a person, and um, I used to play all the sports. So whatever sport I used to play, um, if I used to see someone uh, you know, uh, getting more uh, points than me, I <laughs> just couldn't stand it. You know? I was like, my God, even I have to do that. So from my childhood, I don't know, I've got that habit of, you know, uh, just uh, you know, can do anything for winning. And it's like that. And I think even my mom have, have the same kind of um, feeling that even she she just fights. So I, I think I've got her <laughs> genes. genes in me, and <laughs> um, which is really working in such, uh, such a tough sport. And I think badminton is so tough that, you know, Getting into top 10 at this age is really difficult and I have seen so many players try working so hard, struggling to get here.